Hey guys, what's going on? This is my Tamiya collection video part seven. Um, just doing a general catch up and showing you what's new. There's quite a bit added this to on this video um, and six new cars. So we'll start with the first things. I got this cool Technigold box um, and I got it given by an iconic member, which I really appreciate of. So big, big shout out to Daniel for that. Much appreciated. Um, I then got this um, awesome rare Technipower motor, which you just really don't see many of now. Um, so I'm well chuffed with that. So that's a little motor collection coming on, and it's getting there slowly. Um, next one up, we have the first of the new cars, which was the Hilux Monster Racer. Um, almost brand new, as you can tell. Um, I stripped this down, stripped the body down, and I went for um, to put MCI decals back on it. Um, the it had a few missing of the originals, and they weren't put on very well. And I've also painted the the back deck of it with a marker pen, black marker as I do, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, and there's loads of detail on that, so that is definitely one of my favourite trucks. Trucks now. I used to think the um, the King Cab, but yeah, I think the Monster Racer. For me just takes it now um, so that's that one next add-on we have since the last video is this Tamir Astute Madcap even <laughs> don't know why I call it Astute uh, Madcap um, again I've not actually touched this one just a general clean up painted the tyres um, and it was good to go it's 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 used condition as you can see if I go close up um, but it, it's it's good enough for me. I, I I like them when they're in this condition. I could go for a TB Team Blue Gross Shell and them side decals, but I like it original. Um, only thing I did with that, obviously, as you can see, I put the yellow CVA shocks on because I I hate the blue pogo stick ones. So I've, and I've lowered it, as you can see, and I think that looks pretty cool. Um, next one we've added is this Tamiya Top Force Evolution. Now if you're interested in this car, if you go onto my YouTube channel, I've done a full video on this one because this is quite a special car and it's got some really cool trick bits on it. One being the shell, it hasn't got the scoop like the original Top Force has, that roof scoop. This one's missing, and I believe, I, can't, I always forget the name of the manufacturer. I think it's Race Tech, um, which the shell's just as old, it's actually older than the car. Um, really super rare, so well chuffed white, it's got loads of trick bits on. That's a, that's a new built, never run, um, Evo. So that's definitely one of the uh, rarest cars I've got now. And it's spectacular to look at. Um, what we got then? Then we go across to Boomerang. Um, just got this a week ago. Um, brand new built, re re. And they actually fitted the um, twin, con twin shot conversion kit on it, um, which is pretty rare. So. I'm going to leave that for now, but the Boomer's definitely going back to Mono Shock, and I've got I'm going to buy another Boomerang, um, and that'll have a twin shock conversion kit fitted to it because that's going to be a winger. Um, but yeah, it looks dead cool like that. I really like that. Um, next one down, what we've got? Um, this is one I did uh, a week ago. Tammy Saint Dragon. Um, not much to say about that really. It's just exactly the same as just his brother from the Madcap um, with this shell. Um, some people love it, some people hate it. I actually do love it. I think they look great. I think there's a really cool look about them. So that's that one. Um, just while I'm up here, I I've added the tyre decals to the monster trucks now which I got someone printed these for me, you can't really buy them um, and it's a nightmare to fit and obviously you can never use them, you can't even squeeze the tyres um, but I think they look so cool so I've got that on the Mud Blaster and Monster Beetle and the Blackfoot um, but I really do think they look really cool it just makes it stand out um, a lot more than they would anyway um, that takes us across to this car was here last time. This is a Tamiya Dash One Emperor. This was here last time, but now it's got the proper wheels and tyres on it. Um, and I sprayed the shocks black. I don't know if you can see that. 
and it's got pretty it looks pretty cool got it nice and low um, and yeah I'm really chuffed with that one looks pretty cool and then down to one I've just finished this morning um, Grasshopper 2 Super G um, I actually bought a new inbox Riri Grasshopper 2 but um, luckily I found this Super G it was a little bit battered needed bits adding to it and that um, but it had the shocks and the wheels and the tyres because obviously as you know these tyres, the front tyres are super rare so really chuffed with that, I've just finished that this morning um, it's got the Tammy Riri Grasshopper 2 shell on it and I've added a little touch, put some spotlights on which some people do but I think that looks pretty cool um, and just behind that I've added, you can't really see the fifth Tamiya guidebook um, which I've now, that's, you can't really see but uh, that's the fifth. That's the old grasshopper one. I turn this. This that's the back of this one because it's got the Evo on, but it's got. I think it's got the black Mercedes touring car on. Of course, the Avante and the Hot Shot. So I think that's up to date now with everything. Um, let's see if I can do this. So since the last video, I've added the right hand car, right hand side six cabinet. Uh, and I made a wooden stand for it. Um, my living room's getting decorated in about a week and we've got, uh, well, it's all getting ripped out, so it's all gonna have to be moved, which isn't gonna be much fun. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I raised it up, obviously, because where the settee is, so I can get more cars in. But also it gives it that pretty cool look at the top, right hand corner, it kind of makes it look like it was meant to be like that. So that's, that's where we stand today. Um, again, it's all, full now so there's no more cars to add to that um, next job well projects of the next one so I've got a original lunchbox coming and then as I said I've got a or I'm getting a boomerang which is going to be a winger um, so it'll be a while before the next video again guys but um, the plan is to on top of the TV I'm going to put a shelf in that corner and put either glass or perspex around it just to match the shelves I've got and I'm going to move out the King Cab and the Monster Racer to sit above the TV. And then I'm going to put another layer across it to put probably another three buggies on. Um, that's the plan anyway, um, which will then free me up six spaces where the Monster Racer and King Cab is now. Um, but that's ages away because I'm obviously it's steady away now. Um, just get cars as and when I can. Um, and now I'm sort of I'm looking for the right cars now. But still on the wish list, obviously, as I say, I'll have a lunchbox and winger in there eventually, but I still need a, a Stoot and a Super Stoot and um, a Super Shot or a Super Hot Shot. That's a must. Um, and then after that, I can't really think of anything obvious. I'm sure there will be. But, um, oh, and I've also got coming, which is by the end of next week, from a battery collection, I've got um, the black... 7.2 racing pack 1200 milliamp battery um, with a mint box with it and I've just ordered um, a, a brand new believe it or not um, Tamiya 8.4 gold pack that they did for the big wig and that's brand new with a box so that's going to look pretty cool when I get those um, and I think that's it guys um, hope you liked it and um, I'll see you next time when I make part 8 <laughs> thanks for watching Bye.